Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Ethernet repeaters. This tutorial complements the 10Base2 and 10Base5 Ethernet tutorial. So if you haven't watched that one yet, I would suggest pausing this, take a look at that one, and then come back to this because this sort of rounds out um, the concepts we want to cover before moving on to the more recent implementations and specifications of Ethernet. Now, Ethernet repeaters are pretty simple to understand. This is a pretty short tutorial. The functionality of an Ethernet repeater, you'll see, comes up again when we look at hubs. We get, a, we get to hubs when we look at 10 base T. Look for that tutorial as well. So we're going to take a look at the what and the why of Ethernet repeaters. Why do we need them and, and what do they do? And look at the functionality. Okay, so we have our sample 10 base 2 network here. And you'll recall 10 base 2 has a maximum segment size of 185 meters. So what's the big deal? Well, let's say our network is growing and we actually need to add a user. So we've added a, us a user, but this segment here is already 185 meters. What's going to happen when we add that, we extend the segment, we add a user, it's not going to work, what happens and why? Well, you'll encounter problems. The frames are not going to get there or they're going to get there and they're going to be unintelligible. The reason that happens is a signal on the bus gets weaker the longer uh, it travels. The more distance it covers, the weaker it gets. It's very similar to listening to someone talk or a television. If you're in the room where the television is, you can hear it pretty well. If you walk all the way down the hallway and go into another room, you're not going to hear it as well because as the sound travels, it gets weaker and weaker until eventually you can't hear anything. So if we were to look at that in terms of signals on our Ethernet segment, if this PC here, call it PC1, generated a signal, it would be pretty strong right here. As it traverses the bus, it's going to get weaker and weaker. And I'm just going to use different colors here to represent just it, get, it getting weaker, the signal decreasing in strength the further along it goes. So by the time it gets to the end, it's going to be very weak. So Ethernet repeaters help us to get around that problem. Here we have an Ethernet repeater, and effectively we've extended the length of our network. So our, our 185 meter segment is now extended, and this could be another 50 meters if, if we wanted. Of course it can go up to another 185, but in our example, that's another 50 meters. Ethernet repeaters can connect to multiple segments, so in here it's just connecting to two the second one here and our original one here. The repeater works like this. All it does is it receives the signal that was generated along our original Ethernet segment and when it receives it, it generates a new stronger signal and then it sends the signal out on the other segment. It doesn't amplify the signal, meaning it doesn't just turn up the volume and make it louder and kick it out the new segment. It actually cleans it up, generates a new, stronger one. It's like brand new. And that is all it does. So that enables that signal and those frames to successfully reach our new PC. And we've ex successfully extended our LAN. The repeater lives on layer one of the OSI model. Keep in mind, it doesn't interpret the meaning of the bits, the meaning of the signals that it receives. It's kind of dumb. All it's doing is just taking that signal and making it new again, big and strong and clean. Okay? And that, in a nutshell, is an Ethernet repeater. So let's quickly summarize. Repeaters extend the lengths of 10 base 2 and 10 base 5 Ethernet LANs. They live at layer one of the OSI model, which is the physical layer. They don't do anything to the signal in terms of interpreting meaning. All they do is generate a new, clean, strong signal for the next ne network segment. And that's it. Thanks for watching.